Bonjour YouTube, Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, out in the garden today. I've got this tent that I've wanted to have a look at for a week or two, and it's a one Tigris Tanglum. It's a uh, two man tent, it's a poleless tent like the Lanshan. I'd say the package is a bit bigger, you probably compress it down a little bit more. Now the bag has got these compression straps uh, around so you can pull it, it will squeeze tighter. What I like about the Lanshan bag is that it's got compression straps that way so you can compress it like that and make it a more compact size. It certainly feels sort of bulkier than the Lanshan. Uh, if, any, if the bag's anything to go by it's a real sort of a thick nylon. I think it's 75D nylon which offers a waterproof protection of up to 1500 millimeters i don't know what that means that's the information as long as it keeps me dry that's all i care about so uh let's have a look at this for weight you know i love to weigh things and we'll weigh it and we we'll see how it compares to the lantern obviously that's the only other pole tent i've got to compare it to 1.56 kilograms so that uh, comes in under two kilograms obviously you've got your trekking poles to put it up so i've got them there as well they're not included in the weight we'll see how it looks against the lanchion here without the poles the lanchion is 1.41 kilograms so without further ado let's stick it up this looks like a good area <laughs> Helps if you undo, helps if you undo that. Okay, so what have we got in here? I have no idea. Let's have a look. I don't know how to put it up. I've got no instructions. So this is going to be making it up as we go along. So this is obviously the ground sheet and the inner. It's always good to see what pegs you've got. Are they going to be decent little pegs? Or are they going to be those long, thin, silvery pegs? Which I always think is a cop out when you get those. No, 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 no. Decent pegs. Proper stakes. So, yeah, they're decent. Then in here, there's another couple of guy ropes. We'll see where they will attach in a minute. But let's peg it out. I'm going to put it up much the same as I would the lantern. I'm going to do the sides, do the corners and then bring it up to height. Okay, so what's happened here, the corners, um, I'm not entirely sure how they go. If you have a look at this corner closely, you can see that there's a loop and then there's a little knot down here and I've just gone straight through that. Leaving this bit here sort of hanging out. I don't know if that's right, we'll find out in a minute. Um, the height, I think I read somewhere that you were meant to set it to 120 uh, millimeters. So, so what we've got here, we have another loop at the bottom here, which I take it we put that through, and then this up in the head here. Is there anywhere for it to catch? Or is that is it going to want to go on the outside, do you think? Right, I think we're going to have to put the outer on first, stand that up and then peg the inside. We'll try that. There's the side, there's the doors. We need to peg the corners out first. But as you can see at the moment, it's as you can see at the moment, it's separate. This, the inner and the outer are separate. 
But I've got a feeling once you attach these, then there's no reason why you can't leave them together in future so they go up a lot easier. So I'm hoping that that's the case. Out in this corner here. One side. So it touches in the loop at the bottom. me off. Do one side, the other side f***ing falls over. I've lowered them because I thought they might be a bit too tight. I don't know what else to do, I'm just going in a f***ing circle. Nothing like camping, is there, to chill out? Right, we're going around the f***ing circle here, do me in. Here's a two-man tent, It'd take two men to put the f***ing thing up. Don't pull out. Don't pull out. Oh, so far. Just one a bit. Right, it's up. It's not looking perfect. But it's up. <coughs> now, everywhere here there's hooks and clips. Got a little hook here that hooks on to a little loop up here. Oh no. Oh no. It's going. It's not in the right place again. Oh, for sake. Ah, f***ing hell. Right, now, if you get down here, you find on the netting, there's hooks and sort of clips, so we clip up to the inside. First one goes onto a loop up there. Hook it up. So it's all attached, and what I'm hoping, like I said, is that once this is attached, you can leave them attached, and hopefully it'll make it putting up a bit easier in future. It can't be much more f***ing difficult. You can see we've put the inner to the outer there. And then one into the top there. It's all a bit saggy on the inside, but there is loops you can pull it tighter. And then I think we want to get down to these corners as well. There's a hook on there. This hook attaches onto there on the corners pulls the corner tight and pulls the the bathtub bottom up so I'll go around do that to all four corners 
tighten them all up and then I'll try and pull it all tight. Hopefully the tension will work and hold it up and not pull the f***ing pegs out of the ground again. Right. So, <laughs> don't laugh. I think you need to have your guy ropes, your guy lines tied on to pull them out and not pinned by the doors. So now I've got to go into the bag and attach the guy ropes myself. I am not good at knots, excuse the pun. I prefer to buy a tent where they are attached and you've just got to add one or two. But this, every single one has got to be attached. So I think I can't put it up properly until they're attached. So this has been a fucking nightmare. This is why you watch Summit or Nothing, honest reviews. I'm sure it's a great tent once it's up, but fuck me, what a ball lake. So one tigress, I'm scoring you down because you haven't bothered to tie your guy ropes on. You could tie a few on to get us started. Do you imagine if this was the first time I took this out? If I didn't have a garden to test it on, the first time I was doing this was up on the top of a fucking mountain in Scotland, it would be absolutely, absolute catastrophe. It would have been a nightmare. Okay, so I've attached these, shitly. I don't do knots, as I said. But what did happen was that made it so much more easy to put up having them tying off and not trying to tie off the doors. The doors was not how we pin it down. So we know that now. So if you've got this tent, tie the guy ropes on before you go putting it up. So it's up, it's kind of up very flappy it's not very tight another thing that keeps happening is if I tighten it on the corners then they keep pinging open not pulling the pegs out this time but the opposite corner will slip and go loose again so it's really hard to get this tent nice and tight it's frustrating and I'm making a mess of the lawn as well also I don't think the heads of my hiking poles are ideal for this they don't want to sit in the pockets and they keep moving. A bit of wind in the night and that's going to keep falling down, doing your f***ing nut. Let's have a look in. Okay, so it zips up from the middle, from the bottom, like that. And then across. So it's a, sort of two doors either side, but also two door sashes as you were either side i don't know whether this clips into there because there's a it seems to be pulling the, the bathtub bottom down so i don't know whether you could attach it like that or something now where does this tie up oh hang on hang on hang on i've just realized i've tied together the inner and the outer through the door sash so I don't know what I'm going to tie that to that's what it looks like see but that's also the bit that you would hook the door up with so it's almost like there's one missing on here and then that sags so then you have to hook that into there to keep it up out of the way no biggie, I suppose. But. Right, now we're in the tent, and it's like the lantern, but unlike the lantern, this I can't ever remember this sagging so much in the lantern. It feels really intrusive. If you was lying down, you got that it's right on you. This is really, really low, really frustrating. I'm beginning to be glad that I didn't take this up to Dartmoor like I was gonna. I'm afraid, one tigress, I'm not overly impressed with this tent. It's the most frustrating thing I've ever had to put up. And now it's up, it doesn't seem, I mean, how can you keep that up, you know? So yeah, that's, that's this tent now. I'm gonna try and put it away. Let's see how frustrating it is to put away, see if it all holds together. And uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, 
Right, well it's in. That's um, I'm gonna need convincing <laughs> to use that. If I was to go out and it was a case of grabbing this or the lantern, I'd grab the lantern. I can't remember the lantern being so much sort of saggy inside. It was like there was too much netting and it wasn't pulling tight and it was, it just took up all the room inside. From outside it looked like quite a nice sort of size tent, but um, yeah, once you got in there, it wasn't even. Really. So anyway, there's the one Tigris. If you used it, let me know. That was it, Trev, idiot testing another tent. See you later, Jason.